Hey everybody, how about for something completely different? Let's make some bourbon balls. I'm a complete beginner looking to improve my palate and learn more about bourbon. So come along with me. All right, I remember in the 1960s when I was growing up, uh, my family would have these big Christmas parties with all the cousins and all the aunts and uncles. And they would have all the cakes and cookies and candy and all kinds of desserts. And one of the things that they had uh, was bourbon balls. And this was really popular back then. Of course, these were not for kids. They were... That's too good for children. So, uh, something that I haven't seen in a long time and thought, hey, just like to try to uh, see if I could recreate this or remake this and did a little research. Uh, these were actually invented in 1938 by Ruth Hanley Boo. And uh, that was from the Rebecca, uh, Rebecca Ruth Candy Company from Kentucky. I think it's from uh, Frankfort, Kentucky. And I think there was something that the uh, the governor said something about people in Kentucky, they like bourbon and chocolate, so she made a confection out of bourbon. So, I don't know if that story's true or not, but she's the one that's credited with creating the bourbon ball. Now, these are kind of like, I guess, like hers. They would be uh, basically covered in, uh, in chocolate. I've got them covered in, in uh, pecans, covered in... Uh, covered in um, Toasted coconut, you can co cover them in sugar and, and powdered sugar. You can really coat them in anything you want. Some people do these and they'll put them in, uh, they do a little different. They do more of a cooked uh, bourbon ball or they do bourbon ball that's kind of cloaked in chocolate. Uh, that was a little bit, uh, maybe a little involved, more involved than I wanted to get into. So, uh, just made some really simple bourbon balls. Let's try one out. I'm gonna try this one right here. That's uh, got the uh, got the uh, little pecans on it, and uh, they're real simple to make. Oh, and they're really good. You can really taste the bourbon. Now, I used old Granddad 114 to make these. And um, they say you should use a decent bourbon. Of course, the stronger the bourbon, the stronger the bourbon balls are going to be. And these kind of have a good little kick. I seem to remember uh, maybe uh, flinching a couple off the Christmas uh, party table when I was uh, about uh, 9 or 10 years old. So, uh, they do bring back memories. So let's go ahead and uh, make them. They're really easy to make. And I'll just uh, show you the process. For ingredients, we have uh, two cups of crushed up pecans, a box of vanilla wafers, uh, some maple syrup, or you can use like corn syrup. Uh, I kind of like maple syrup. Uh, some cocoa powder, powdered sugar, some, uh, this is like the sparkly sugar and bourbon. And of course, uh, we're gonna go do the old school 1960s, so we're gonna do the old granddad 114. All right, we got two cups of crushed up pecans in a bowl, and that is a little more than one bag. So I've got some leftover from this bag, but we're gonna use some of this to uh, roll the some of the uh, bourbon balls in to coat them. So now we're gonna go ahead and pour in about a half a cup of uh, Old Granddad 114 here. Might need a little bit more. We're actually gonna be soaking this guy. So let's put it just another splash. We don't, it doesn't have to, we don't have to be uh, swimming. These things don't have to be swimming, but if it's got some bourbon in the bottom of it, and you can make sure that it all gets nice and covered, and then we're going to let it sit overnight. What's going to happen is that uh, these uh, pecans are going to soak up some of that good bourbon flavor. So that looks good. That looks pretty good. So let's go ahead, and we're going to cover this, 
and then let it sit overnight and then we'll come back and uh, make our bourbon balls. All right, so we got our two cups of crushed up pecans and it's been soaking in that bourbon overnight. All right, we got another half a cup of bourbon and the reason it's a little dark is because I poured off a little bit of what was left in here into here and then topped it off to a half cup with some good old 114 granddad. Got a cup of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of uh, cocoa powder, unsweetened, two tablespoons of maple syrup, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and then uh, one box of Dilla wafers, 11 ounce box. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and take these and crush them up in the food processor. So let's get that done. The one to grow on. That's all it takes. All right, so now I'm just gonna pour those crumbs into a big bowl. And then we pour in our bourbon soaked uh, pecans. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Now we're gonna mix this up and then we'll mix in our other ingredients. So let's go ahead and get this stuff mixed up really good first. And it's pretty dry. That's okay, don't worry about it. We're just getting it mixed up just uh, to start out with. And that's our base, actually. At least it smells good. All right, so let's mix in everything else. We're gonna mix in our one cup of powdered sugar our two tablespoons of cocoa powder. And then we're gonna put in our half a teaspoon of that kosher salt. Then we're gonna take our half a cup of bourbon and we got our little uh, maple syrup. Gonna pour that maple syrup in there, pour them back in here, and then pour them both in there. All right. Now we mix all that up and that should make like our, our batter for the uh, for the bourbon balls, and if it's if it's not moist enough, we can always add a little bit more of a wet ingredient. Oh, I don't know which wet ingredient we would probably use. Maybe the bourbon, because it's not going to hurt to add a little more bourbon. And I think we might do that because it is not very wet. Let me add just a little bit more bourbon in here. There we go. Until we get it to kind of like a, kind of a sticky pasty. That's what we're looking for. And you want to make sure you get all the stuff off the sides. See how it's doing. We did everything all incorporated together. Yeah, see how that is? So it's getting like nice and sticky and they'll stick together. All right, it's coming along pretty good. Yeah, I think that's gonna, that's gonna do good. All right, now we just need to cover this. I'm gonna cover it with some uh, saran wrap and put it in the fridge for about an hour. So it'll stiffen up maybe a little bit more and then when we roll it into bourbon ball. So we'll go ahead and do that and then we'll come back and we'll finish up our bourbon balls. All right, we just got him out of the fridge. He's been sitting in the fridge for about an hour. He got a little stiffened up. And now we've got the, uh, gonna roll up the balls about an inch or so, about the size of a little, one of those super balls you get out of a gumball machine. 
and then we're going to roll them and then cover them in I've got uh, some uh, toasted coconut, got some powdered sugar, got some pecans, got this is that coarse sugar, uh, cocoa powder, might do some and powdered sugar and pecans or powdered sugar and cocoa powder. I mean, whatever you want to roll it in. I mean, it's not limited to this, whatever your imagination you want to, you want to coat your bourbon balls with, hey, go for it. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we just kind of spoon, a little spoonful. And I'm wearing gloves. You probably want to wear gloves because you want to get, uh, otherwise it's going to stain your hands. So about that size, roll them up in a little ball. And let's go ahead and put this in. Let's try like the powdered sugar first. Put them in there and just kind of roll them around and get them covered. And then got the, uh, Pan with some parchment paper and put them on there. There we go. There's one the bourbon bowl. All right, let's do this one. Huh? Do another one. And this one. I'm gonna roll them up kind of good. And then we're gonna put them in the pecans. Just kind of kind of roll them around in the pecans so it gets nice and covered. There's two bourbon balls. Not sure how many we're gonna get out of this. Might get about 20 or so bourbon balls. So I have a have a bourbon ball feast. So let's go ahead and do him. And roll him up. And let's do this one in the toasted coconut. Yeah, there we go. This would be kind of there we go. Pretty. There's three bourbon balls. Okay. Do this one. All right, we're gonna try this uh, this sparkly sugar. Ooh, he's sparkly. He's gonna be sugary. Okay. And you can make them a little bigger if you want. It's not a problem. They don't have to be perfectly round. But uh, about, about an inch, inch or so. You don't want them too big. Let's do this guy in cocoa powder. Oh man, he just kind of dropped into it. So there we go. Now we'll get a cocoa powder covered. Bourbon ball. All right, now we're going to try. Gonna, we're gonna try something uh, dangerous here. We're gonna do it half in the powdered sugar and half in the in the uh, crystally sugar. Let's do that. Let me just kind of get a little bit on that. And we'll get him here and that. Oh man, there's kind of a half one. All right, let's try maybe a half powdered sugar and half cocoa. So I've got my rhythm of powdered sugar. And then we put the other side into the cocoa powder. And then uh, there we go. All right. Then never do it in half cup powdered sugar and then half pecans. It will burst into flames if you do that. It's an important safety tip. Of course, I'm just kidding. You can do it any way you want. And we'll transfer it to a nicer looking uh, plate. We'll put it back in the, in the fridge for about another hour or so and let these kind of stiffen up a little bit more and then put them on a nice plate and uh, makes a nice presentation. So let's do uh, pecans. See that one? I like the pecans. I'll do that in a second. Let's try that. Let's do pecans. Oh my gosh. Pecans and then toasted coconut. Dare we? Yeah, let's pecans on one side, toasted coconut on the other. How about that? Oh my gosh. 
I'm becoming a bourbon ball expert here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this and finish up these bourbon balls and roll them in the different uh, coverings and then we'll come back and uh, after I put them in the fridge for about an hour and we'll try them out. All right, here's that whole tray. So I'm gonna put some saran wrap on it really lightly. I don't wanna squish them down, but just enough just to cover them, keep them from drying out. Put them in the, in the fridge and then let them chill and solidify up really good. But uh, I made 35, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And this last 10, they're kind of small. My wife likes them small. So we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and uh, put these in the fridge. All right, they just came out of the fridge. They're nice and firm. I'm gonna put them in these little uh, paper cups, individual, and put them in a uh, big Tupperware for storage. And keep these in the uh, refrigerator for about three weeks or so. And I think they actually get better. They're supposed to get better as they get, as they kind of age, but uh, I'm probably gonna eat some of them tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in these little cups and then I'm gonna be all done. And here they are, all ready to go into the fridge to store, to present to uh, family and friends, or to take to that uh, office Christmas party from the 1960s. So, that's the bourbon balls. Uh, it was, really wasn't hard to make. There's no baking involved. It's just mixing up some ingredients, uh, something you can do in an afternoon. And it's a lot of fun, and they're really tasty. So, uh, go ahead and give it a try. For the past week, I've been drinking this uh, Whistle Pig six year. It's a uh, hunter proof bourbon. And when I first tried this, I really thought it was kind of a, the taste kind of reminded me of leather. I mean, that was the taste I was getting, the taste and the smell. I think more than that, I think I'm, I'm starting to think that's really not leather. I think it's more of oak, just a very oaky taste, at least to me. Maybe that's what I'm tasting, like the, like the, maybe, uh, just a woody taste. It's good. It's okay. It's, it's not great for $50. Um, I don't know if I'd get it again, but, uh, I'll probably go ahead and finish this one off. Uh, I'm going to hold off on doing another bourbon just yet. I think I'm going to wait and maybe do that every other week rather than every week. But, uh, probably at least have another bourbon ball here. So, in the meantime, if you want to drink a bourbon for a week or two, kind of smell it, taste it, what are you tasting, uh, what kind of notes are you getting from that bourbon, drink it over the course of a week or two, and then come back and taste it again, and just see if your palate is improving, if you're tastes are changing if you're noticing anything different in that bourbon and uh, I think I'll come back maybe next week and have a new bourbon but in the meantime I'm gonna have another another bourbon ball this is a chocolate one I mean, you do get all over your fingers too so have some napkins handy so in the meantime make some bourbon balls drink responsibly and enjoy.